Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Iwata Takumi Eclipse. We're going to do a piece of artwork. This one on the screen you can see here, we're doing a, like a Japanese samurai type warrior. This is going to be a grayscale portrait, so we're going to use the Takumi Eclipse for this. I wanted to get it off the shelf. Gave it a good clean out this morning and we're good to go. The brush itself is this one here, so if you've not seen it, they are a very nice brush by Iwata. Very comfortable triggers on these you'll find. If you are thinking of buying one, I find the triggers really comfortable. I'm pressing down and just the feel, <clears throat> the responsiveness is absolutely on point. Solid brush, good chrome on it. The only thing I don't like about the Takumi is the cups. Some people get on with them, some people don't. <clears throat> I just don't like the big cup to the side. Can feel quite weighty in your hand to one side. It can feel like it's just a little bit much. It's quite a heavy cup to be on for a side feed. Gravity feed as well, so it comes down and goes in. Your other eye waters where they sit lower down, they're sort of like a suction type. They go, the air comes down the side of the body and then pulls the, pushes the paint into the brush. So you do get better flow with this because you've got like the gravity like a top cup but it's just pushed to the side. But I just find the cups a little bit heavy to one side and sometimes can come a little bit loose and go a little bit wobbly here. So what I'm gonna do is, is just unscrew the top cup. Now if you own a Neo, the small little Neo cups, they screw to the top. Now this one is a H&S cup and it screws straight onto the top guys, one of the small H&S cups to the side, makes it a little bit more lighter and balanced to the front end when you're working up close. Gives you a little bit more vision as well when you're working your cup sort of out in the line of sight. So I prefer the smaller cup. You may want to just work the big cup, it's not a problem. Just need to push it on the side of the body and make sure it's really secure because they can, as I say, come a little bit loose. But I find with the smaller cup, they're just more, they've just got more visibility and it's a little bit more lighter. You can just feel it's a lot lighter, it's a bit more balanced in the hand when you're working with it. Crown cap looks like a crown cap on these. I'm gonna be working with this off, so just unscrew that. <clears throat> Visibility on the needle is quite a bit, so you can see if you've got tip dye on there. Cut away handle for quick flush, if you want a quick flush through. Adjust it to the back for your trigger, so you can dial in on how much paint flow you wanna put through. But very comfortable triggers, and that's what I wanted to work with today. I wanted a nice, comfortable trigger top, responsive brush, so I picked and chose the Takume for today's video for this piece. Now, paints we're using today, we're going to be using Createx Illustration Paints Grey because this is a sort of black and white portrait. I'm going to mix a little bit of this, bit, or drop a little bit of orange in it, just take the blue out of it a bit. So that's what we're going to use. I've got some black golden high flow acrylics. We're going to use the black for the darks, real black pieces. And then I've got some, this is basically just a grayscale, but I've sort of Done another piece of artwork where I've tweaked this and added to it. We've got like a, a smoke type effect coming up around the side of him here. And then you've got this band that goes round and then a little bit more sort of smoke effect around the back. We're gonna do that in like a candy green. So I'm gonna drop candy green down. I've also got an FWE, like a neon green. We're gonna drop some of that in round the back and just make that sort of like fog around the back of him. We're also gonna do like the green eyes and halo the eyes up in green and then put the white pinpoints in on the, on the front just to make the eyes pop and just sort of change it up a bit and make it more pop. So that's what we're doing. I will stick you in a time-lapse for this one. You'll see the piece of artwork come together. And then I'll give you like final thoughts on the Takume, on how it was running the sort of air pressures in that that I'm run, running it at, and just basically what I think of it for a long period of time sitting with it on a piece like this is detailed. So enjoy the video, and I'll see you at the end for the final thoughts on the Takumi Eclipse by Iwata. See you in a bit.
Right, there you go guys, we are all done on the Samurai and you see I had the green candy just to make it pop a bit, put a little bit in the eyes, just to change it from the original and make it pop a little bit more. Now, a little bit about the brush. Cannot fault it, absolutely cannot fault it guys, one bit. Um, for soft shading and going in on tight, this sort of size detail, Takuma is a lovely brush, it really is really nice. You can see on this little test panel here, wasn't much tip dry and just going across, the little blast through, that is all that I sort of tested across and then just working consistently. We've used Createx Illustration Payne's Grey and I dropped a drop of orange into it. I've worked some blacks into this. Only on certain parts, just dropped a little bit of black in. We've dropped the candy green in. Really nice to do and nice and simple really. Not long, about three and a half, four hours all in, finished. But the brush performed really well. I put the small cup on this just to give me a little bit more view and not sort of lopsiding it heavy one side because I find them Takumi cups a little bit heavy for that side of the brush. But dropping the H&S little cup on the top or if you've got the Neo cup works really well. But trigger response on this brush is absolutely on point. Soft, comfortable trigger so you can work for long periods of time, not a problem. Closes you in so you come up nice and close to your work as you're working. But you can get some really nice soft transitions down with this brush. Sits nice at around, I was running this around 20 PSI, consistent. Um, the only times I had a little bit of trouble was when I'm going from water based to solvent because you like, you're blasting through, then you're putting solvent in, then I'm having to clear through with thinners, back in with water, flush through, and then back in with like a water based acrylic. But other than that, worked really well. So I hope you've enjoyed the video on the Samurai and I hope you can join me in the next one because we're moving on to the Custom Micron and we're going to do another Japanese style. This is a face on sort of Samurai with nice background and that's going to be another one for this sort of collection. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget if you're new to the channel click that subscribe, press that notification, drop your comments, tell me your thoughts on the piece and if you own a Takume Tell me your thoughts on what you think about it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.